OK, we've got a Hesse's Law question here. Calculate the energy change when ammonia reacts with hydrochloric acid. We've been given some standard enthalpies of formation. So in a Hesse's Law question, we're looking at the fact that, irrespective of the path taken, the energy change is always the same. So we start off by drawing out the equation. So ammonia plus hydrochloric acid makes ammonium chloride. Very straightforward. Now these enthalpies of formation tell us the energy required or given out when they're formed from the elements in their standard states. So to form them we need half a mole of nitrogen, we need two moles of hydrogen and we also need half a mole of chlorine. So we're going to use these to calculate this path and to calculate this path and we'll be able to work out this path. So to start off with, to make one mole of ammonia, it'll be minus 46.1 kilojoules per mole. So that's minus 46.1. Also, we need to make one mole of hydrochloric acid and that's gonna be minus 92.3. This side, we're going to form just one molecule here and this is this ammonium chloride this one species and that's minus 315 kilojoules per mole now to make sure we get the signs right it's easier if we give each path a letter so this one is a this one will be b and this one will be c and we're trying to find a so a is equal to b if we're going the wrong way and C if we're going the right way. So it's equal to C minus B. So um, it could also be minus B plus C, but for ease of purpose, we'll just do it this way. So if we start putting these numbers into a calculator, C comes out as minus 315. So it equals minus 315. Now we're going to take away B. So be careful with signs on your calculator now. Because B is minus 46.1. And we can add to that minus 92.3. And if you put that in your calculator, A comes out as minus 176.6 kilojoules per mole. Okay, we now have another Hesse's Law question, slightly more challenging, but we'll work through it, we'll be fine, we've got a little bit more information. Um, so here we're going to have silicon chloride reacting with water, and that will make silicon dioxide and four moles of hydrochloric acid. So this one I've chosen to show you because it's a little bit more tricky than the last one when you have numbers of moles when you have to incorporate the stoichiometry. So these are going to be made from elements in their standard state which will be the enthalpies of formation and we've got the standard symbol. So we're going to have a silicon, we're going to have two moles of chlorine, we're going to have two moles of hydrogen and we're also going to have a mole of oxygen. So as before we're going to calculate this path and this path in order to calculate that path. So for this one, we're going to make one mole of silicon chloride. So that's going to be minus 640 from the table at the top. We're also going to make two moles of water. So this is where we have to incorporate the stoichiometry. There are two lots of minus 286 from this table. And on this side, we're going to make one mole of silicon dioxide which is going to be minus 910 and four lots of hydrogen chloride, hydrochloric acid, four lots of minus 92. Now, if we do this again, how we did last time with A, B and C, we can see that A equals C minus B. Now, just be really careful with the maths on this one because we've got multiplication and addition of um, negative numbers and it's just 
awful if you lost marks because uh, of a simple calculator mistake. So I'd set this out as A equals minus 910 plus 4 times minus 92 and that's this path here minus, now we're going to work out B minus 640 added to two lots of 286 negative nearly made the mistake myself there make it look proper and then if we calculate that we should get A equals minus 66 kilojoules per mole.